Did you know a black man holds one of the patents for a folding chair? I'm Educator Barnes. Many of you have come across my series, Hoosier Black Excellence, where I focus on black excellence in the Hoosier State. But today, we're leaving the Hoosier State, Indiana, and we're going to talk about a man named Nathaniel Alexander, who is from Virginia and holds one of the patents for a folding chair. Before we talk about Nathaniel Alexander, I want to address this image that's floating around social media. When I saw it, I looked perplexed because I saw multiple people share it and none of those people realized that that's not Nathaniel Alexander. That is a picture of Lewis Lattimore, who is black, who is also an inventor. Come closer. We don't all look alike. And the fact that so many people didn't know that this was a picture of Lewis Latimer tells us that we need more black history in our schools. If you don't know about Latimer, um, you can go to lewislatimerhouse.org. Um, his house um, that he lived in up until when he passed away is now a museum where you can learn more about his work. But he is known for um, playing a critical role for the development of the telephone, um, significantly improved the production of the carbon filament, and the commercialization of the incandescent light bulb. Now let's get back to Nathaniel Alexander. Here are figures from Nathaniel Alexander's patent. At the top, you can see that this was patented on July 4th, 1911. And in figure three, you see a book. So let's talk about that book. Now, Thought Co. has an article about Nathaniel Alexander, and in the article it states, Alexander folding chair is not the first folding chair patent in the United States. His innovation was that it included a book rest, making it suitable for use in places where the back of one chair could be used as a desk or a shelf by the person seated behind. So when you uh, saw earlier when I pointed out the book, Nathaniel elevated the folding chair design thinking about what are other uses that the folding chair could have because if you're going to patent something that is already in existence you want to add something that's innovative to your design. So there you have it folks. Nathaniel Alexander he patented a version of the folding chair and he was a black man. There's not much information known about him on the internet but I am a former English teacher. So let me give you guys some advice. Don't try to be TMZ. Don't try to get stuff out there first. Stop, pause, evaluate the information. There are so many pictures, memes, gifs going around social media. And the first thing that we want to do is hit the share button without verifying the sources. Matter of fact, you should verify what I just shared. That's how we all make sure there's not misinformation out there in the world. And if you see something that I have posted that may be off, say, hey, Educator Barnes, you forgot about this or add that. That's what's super important. And that's how we can ensure there's not misinformation and that we are sharing reputable sources. So this was our Black History moment today. And remember, Educator Barnes believe Black History is 365. And during a leap year, which there will be a leap year in 2024, it will be 366.